Hello again guys and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Theodore and myself Hello. today uh, will discuss a certain, a certain topic regarding rifle scopes. Um, the topic is, is goes by the name of parallax adjustment range. So Theodore, mm -hmm. basically what is the parallax adjustment range? Well, it tells you from which distance to which distance you can set a parallax to be zero or to that the parallax error is zero uh -huh. on the rifle scopes. This applies only on the rifle scopes which have the adjustable parallax, either on the front objective, so adjustable objective, or on the side focus, or like this uh, uh, callus which has a top parallax knob. Uh -huh. So the first thing what you have to know is that some, uh, some scopes have a fixed parallax setting, the others, uh, the others like those four here, have adjustable parallax. And those which have the adjustable parallax have a range of adjustment from where to where you are able to adjust the parallax. And this is the parallax adjustment range. Um, we um, usually give distances in this, uh, for this attribute in our tables of specification uh, on the product pages of, of rifle scopes. Well, I can see that each of, I think mostly, okay, mm -hmm. this one and this one and this one also, I've, I see. I can presume that most of uh, rifle scopes which have uh, adjustable parallax adjustment uh, have numbers written on the turret. Mm -hmm. But my question to you is: uh, I can see the number goes like 10, 15, 20, etc. Yeah. Um, I would like to know: uh, are those num are those numbers exact? Uh, so if I if I set it to 15, is this exactly 15 meters, or is there some? Well, like first of all, this. the simple answer is no. <laughs> so, so the engraved numbers are usually not exact. Mm -hmm. The second thing that is a, a little bit problematic is that sometimes manufacturers which produce scopes meant for the American market, they usually engrave values in yards and in Europe they engrave values in meters. So even if they would be exact, you should know exactly if, if the engraved values are meant to be in yards or in meters. Mm -hmm. Um, but all in all, there is more and more common that manufacturers just give us the minimal value and the maximum value. Uh, like this size, for instance, as you can see, I will show it here on a close-up. They have a minimal value of 50 meters. That means this is the, where the parallax adjustment range starts. And then they only have lines all the way to infinity. They, they have 100 meters with a click uh, in between and then all the way to infinity. So they have no numbers written, just small lines which indicate that you're going from the minimal uh, parallax setting all the way up to the infinity. Uh, others, let's say like this, like this Kales, uh, they have engraved the minimal value, like 25 meters, and then they have all the intermediate values, like 50 meters, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 800, 1000, and infinity. So others like Kales and also like this Delta Striker, they have written numbers on them, but they are just for orientation mm -hmm. where approximately your parallax is set. It's not like that if you know that your target is 100 meters, you set it to, to, to the value where 100 is in great and, and you say, okay, I, I set the correct parallax. No, you have to check it with your eyes. I think we explained in another video that if you wish to know if your parallax is really, really true on a target, if you really eliminated all parallax error, uh, then if you have your scope completely uh, stabilized so it doesn't move, then without touching you go with your eye a little bit left and right and a little bit up and down and if the if the reticle is completely still then you have uh, eliminated the parallax error if it still moves a little bit then you have to adjust the parallax finder um, the other indicator is that your image is completely sharp when mm -hmm. the parallax is set correctly then your target is completely sharp uh, so i would say in many cases the values of parallax settings are engraved. In some cases, they are not. Mm -hmm. uh, what about for each? For what type of shooting? Uh, for what type of discipline sh for shooting? Um, 
does does the parallax adjustment range are great for which types? Are I would say uh, I will go from the least important to the most important. I would say the least important at the moment is probably hunting, long range hunting and normal hunting. Let's say in normal hunting when you shoot from 50 meters to let's say 200 meters maximum or let's say from 50 meters to 150 meters, which is a more or less uh, a norm here in Europe, then parallax, parallax adjustment range is not really important because the error <coughs> of parallax at if you are if you set the parallax at 100 meters and then you shoot at 150 meters in hunting situations is almost neglectable. It's mm -hmm. so small. Uh, where it is more important is with let's say with f pass shooting where you have to be extremely precise with tactical shooting again where you need a maximum precision then you need uh, the parallax range to be i would say a little bit broader and you have to set the parallax correctly each time and then we come to the to the to those disciplines where the parallax is much more crucial and this is field target shooting with air uh, air guns uh, where the parallax setting also serves to to estimate the distance to the target. They usually use those big circles on the, on the parallax wheels, uh, they're called parallax wheels, mm -hmm. where they uh, write numbers of the distances so that when they're setting the parallax, when the image becomes completely clear, they just read down the number from the parallax wheel and they see at which distance the target is then they can correct the bullet drop mm. accordingly. So with field target, it's really, really important. And where it's also really important, it's with uh, small caliber rifles, where the shooting distances are usually short. Because, let's say, usually a lot of parallax scopes with adjustable parallax, they start at 50 meters, like this size. It starts at 50 meters and goes to infinity. Uh, and in situations like this, when you shoot at a target which is, let's say, 25 meters away, you can have a significant parallax error. Mm -hmm. And also the image is not clear, so the target is not clear and so on. So with a small caliber rifles, where the shooting distances are short, and with air guns, where shooting distances are short, there you need the parallax adjustment range, which goes really, 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 I would say, low. So it starts at really small distances. Uh, so this is the reason why scopes meant for field target shooting or for small caliber shooting or for let's say 50 meters bench rest is also something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, a similar discipline in shooting where you need, uh, I would say, wide parallax range. That means that the parallax adjustment range needs to start at 10 meters. Let's say with this callus, it starts at 25 meters. This is much better than 50, but still, Shooting on 15 meters, let's say with some air gun, it will be the parallax adjustment range will start too high. Mm -hmm. So if we look at, let's say, this Delta Striker, this Delta Striker starts at below 10 meters, I would say at 7. And you see that you have a lot of, a lot of uh, travel already from, from 7 meters all the way up to, to 50 meters, you have a lot of travel. So basically, you can say that these adjustments on the more 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 rifle scopes for more precise shooting mm -hmm. have much more um, defined yeah. adjustments. Yeah. yeah. So the the travel is much bigger, and that mm -hmm. means that you can adjust the parallax fine. More fine. Yeah. And this is something that is really really important, especially for for shooting on closer distances, mm -hmm. for let's say field target shooting or or um, 50 meters bench rest or something like that. Small caliber rifles. So it's really important that the parallax adjustment starts low, mm -hmm. that the range starts really, really at seven meters, and then that it has a, a travel which is uh, substantial. So you have a lot of, uh, you can see here on, on this, you can go, I would say from, let's say from 10 meters to 15 meters, 45 degrees or 90 degrees of, uh, of mm -hmm. uh, turn of the side focus is needed. So this is, this is really a lot and you can really fine tune the parallax on, on short distances and this is very positive feature for all those shooting with air guns and field target and similar similar rifles. So basically you can find a very finely adjustable parallax adjustment range uh, mm -hmm. 
on a rifle scopes of higher, very high magnifications? Not on all of them, but on those which are suitable for field target and which were designed for field target, uh -huh. yes. I've, so. also, I've also saw that some rifle scopes which have very high magnifications mm -hmm. uh, don't feature uh, adjustable, adjustable parallax at all. They have fixed uh, parallax at, for example, 100 meters. I don't exactly remember which, uh, which manufacturer well, usually, it was. Usually, yeah, it's like, I would say, we know that scopes which have magnification above 12 need a adjustable parallax. No matter if it's on a side focus, on uh -huh. object, uh, adjustable objective or anywhere else, they need uh, adjustable parallax. But lately, there are a couple of manufacturers which in the segment of uh, hunting rifle scopes change this rule and they're producing rifle scopes with 15 time magnification, the upper, the maximum magnification mm -hmm. of 15, uh, without the parallax, with a fixed parallax setting. And two scopes like this uh, exist. One is the um, Meopta Meostar R2, 2.5 to 15 by 56, mm -hmm. is one of such scopes. It has a fixed parallax of 100 meters, but it features 15 time magnification. And the other such scope is the, the, uh, is the Zeiss V6, of the same type mm -hmm. 2.5 to 15 by 56. I would say it's a really bold move and time will show if this is okay or not. Yes. I do prefer scopes which have magnification above 12 to feature parallax and I prefer scopes which feature parallax adjustment range which is a little bit wider that it starts I would say at at least 20 meters or even less 10 meters and then goes all the way to infinity. I would say in the future, mostly all scopes will have this feature that parallax, if they will have an adjustable parallax, will start at 10 meters. Mm -hmm. Because the market of, um, of air gun shooters and small caliber shooters, which shoot on closer distances, it's quite big. And they do buy expensive, high quality, high magnification rifle scopes. Mm -hmm. I think last but not least that uh, rifle scopes with high magnification uh, require uh, adjustable parallax simply because you have to focus the image. Normally, otherwise you have the, the parallax error is too big and normally the image is just not sharp as it should be. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you today. Okay, I think we covered most of the questions uh, we were given to. Uh, I think uh, if you have any additional question, feel free to write us an email, subscribe to our channel or simply leave a comment below. Take care, until next time. Bye.